how to change someone's opinion of you at work. Have you been working in your the same company for a while, or maybe the same industry for a while, and you are ready to take your career to the next level? Maybe you want to become an executive level in your company, or maybe you want that promotion to be a senior manager or a leader in your industry. And someone from your company. It could be a senior manager, your supervisor, or a C-level executive. Someone from that company who has the authority to give you that promotion has been denying you of that promotion because they see a gap or a limitation that you have demonstrated in the past. Two years ago or three years ago, and somehow their perception of you—they formulated this opinion of you because of something that happened in the past. And some time has passed already, and you're ready for the promotion. You want to step into leadership, but those individuals, the senior individuals, still have that opinion of you that you have that limitation, that you have those weaknesses. And now you're at this point where. You're asking yourself, how do you change their opinion of you? That's exactly what happened in a recent coaching session with my clients. One of my clients, who is a senior manager position in a big tech company, she wanted to elevate her career path to become a director, a senior director, and a, there were a couple of. High-level senior managers in her company who identified a couple of weaknesses in her in her ascension. So they have been raising red flags in terms of offering her the promotion. So she asked me this question of how do you change someone's opinion, right? And how do I show up every single day so that I can change their opinion of me, so that they can realize and they can really see that I no longer have those limitations. I don't have those weaknesses anymore. So if you are listening and you You are, and you are in a senior position in your career, but you want to be an executive level, or you want to step up in leadership. In this video, I'm going to share that exact coaching call that I had with her. But for her privacy, I'm protecting her identity, so you won't be able to see her image, but you will see me answering and responding to her question. So watch, watch on. And by the way, as you are watching and you are gathering some knowledge on how to handle this situation, remember, knowledge alone is not power. Applied knowledge is power. Only applications and implementation of what you learned will help you to change where you are at right now. So, if if applied knowledge is power, then I encourage you to comment below and share with me because that is how you can participate. Right. So, comment below. What are what have you learned? What are your key takeaways? Comment below and continue to watch my response. To her question, how can I show up every day to show others, the rest of other people who make a decision of promotion, that I don't have that issue anymore? So what you can do is position yourself in a way、mm-hmm. where the next time that person is. With you in the room, or the next first time there's a meeting and it's a brainstorming、mm-hmm. meeting, or you're doing a presentation, right? One of the best ways to change someone's perspective is to acknowledge、mm-hmm. their perspective.、Mm, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. The first step in changing their perspective is acknowledging their perspective, which means that you acknowledge that in the past you were not a, an effective communicator and that、mm-hmm. you were not as well versed in problem solving. Right, admission. That's the first step in changing their perspective. So you acknowledge that perspective, and you say, you know, and you say, and you say, yes.、Um, in the past, right? One one thing I've noticed. One thing I've noticed at, after having worked in for five years was that when I first began, I was involved in A project and B project, and one of the the two key important skill sets to be successful is problem solving and effective communications with executives.、Mm-hmm. Right, and then. You point, and then you tell one or two stories, where you can be very specific that you had to do problem solving and where you had to communicate effectively. And then you assess yourself and you say it wasn't handled to the best of my ability.、Mm-hmm. Like、that the first is the admission, right? And then you t- you you tell that story, and then you say the outcome of that is that. You have been doing. What are what are the things that you've been doing now to improve upon those skills? And then you can mention the private coaching. You can mention. You can talk about the investment in private coaching.、Mm-hmm. And you say, and then you you talk about one key thing you learned from that. You say, here's what. I, as a result, you know, I'm committed to my growth so that I can serve you at the highest level. 
because I recognize that in this role, problem solving, executive communication are still keys to success. And I want to mm-hmm. be that is my that was my commitment from day one. So here's what I did. I invested in private coaching to teach me all area arenas of communication, right? Coaching to help me with problem solving. And I've been trying X, Y, Z as well, A, B, C as well. Mm -hmm. And here's what I learned, right? Mm. You You just say one very key thing that you learned. And it's like a, a game changer. You say, and that was a game changer for me. So moving forward, moving forward here's what the outcome has been i applied this and now you tell a story from recent times of how you were a better problem solver so now they have a comparison the Mm. you before and the you now they have a direct comparison right and then you tell a story of what you've been able to achieve after you've elevated your communication after you improved your Mm. problem solving you say here's what the outcome was and now they have no choice but to see the growth you've you've had. So all, you're, what you're doing is you are controlling what they see, just by positioning in your communication. You get to dictate what they see. You get to highlight what they see, and they have no choice but mm. to see it. As you were listening to my response to my client, you will have heard that it is really based on the essence of understanding the principles of human psychology and behavior, how opinions are formed, how decisions are made really at a subconscious level, right? So when you are hearing this and you are wanting to understand how to apply it to your career path, how do you apply it to your particular situation? And if you are listening to this and you are ready to receive some executive level coaching so that you can take your career to the next level, then I invite you to apply to coaching from me so that I will be your coach. I will be your mentor to guide you towards climbing that ladder to take your career to unprecedented levels that you have not, that you desire to go. So if that's you and you're serious about creating these results in your life and in your career, then I invite you to apply. The link is right below this video in the video descriptions. There will be the first link in the descriptions. That is an application for private mentoring and coaching from me, executive coaching, right? Executive career coaching, where you can get help for questions like this and others as well that is very unique to your situation. So if you're serious about creating that result for your career and in your life, then I invite you to click the link below and I hope to see you on the other side.